Okay, so hi folks, I'm just back from a work trip to Paris uh, and I popped uh, down to the uh, really grotty little supermarket just behind the Gare du Nord station where the Eurostar goes uh, from and I picked up this uh, cheese here called uh, Neuf Châtel. Uh, now it's been probably 25, 30 years since I've done any French, so you'll have to uh, just uh, bear with me a second here. But it basically says it's a uh, uh, Fabrique de Vache de, de Lait de Vache, so it's made with uh, milk from a cow, uh, and it's a, a soft cheese, and it's it's part of an Appalachian d'origine uh, protégé, so it's a controlled um, specified area much like a lot of the wines uh, and, and, and cheeses and, and other types of food uh, that's common in France. Now, the, the packaging is superb. It's uh, a, a lovely looking cheese. It's in this heart-shaped uh, packaging. Uh, it really appealed. Uh, quite a lot of cheeses in the, the cabinet there, but I picked this one up. Uh, so we're gonna going to crack this one open. So initially, it was quite in, uh, insightful to... Uh, uh, and appealing to, to, to purchase. So it comes wrapped in this uh, white white paper as, as well. Let's be careful opening it because we know it's a soft a soft cheese. So it's this lovely white white mold on the outside of the cheese. Oh a wonderful smell to it. Uh, quite a pungent smell actually. It's uh, it, very pungent, very salty, uh, a lot more smelly than a, a brie. It almost smells like a Stilton, to be honest, but it's but it's it's not a blue cheese. Uh, it hasn't got that uh, sort of dead <laughs> dead body smell of a Camembert. You can you can stick this in your fridge and it won't stink the fridge out. Uh, really nice looking cheese. Uh, so we're. Uh, we're going to score these cheeses again, like as normal. So, I think from uh, 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 an appearance point of view, that the packaging, the actual uh, look of this uh, lovely white mould covered cheese in this in this heart shape, uh, it, it looks superb. Let's let's cut into it to see what it looks like on the 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 inside. So again, soft cheese, uh, looks a little bit like a brie, it looks really creamy, uh, looks appealing. Uh, I think we're going to rate this as a, I'd say this is an 8 out of 10 uh, from, a, from a looks point of view. So we'll give the score uh, here, well, let's give it, a, give it a 17 out of 20 because we rate these cheeses out of 100. So the the next the next score is is the the nose of the cheese. So again, uh, it's a score out of twenty. I I just think it smells superb, very very uh, salty, kind of mushroomy, musty smell to it. Bit like a a bluey kind of Stilton smell as well. Um, uh, that salt coming through. Okay, so I, I'm going to give that a. Uh, I actually really like it actually so I'm going to give that an 18 out of 20 for the for the for the nose okay so for the for the taste as well let's give it a taste okay so it it doesn't actually taste as as intense as it smells. Oh well, but it's got that. Uh, it has actually got a bit of an an after kick, almost a bit like a chili. When if you, you know, you eat the curry, you're t you're, you're eating everything, and then it's got that burn afterwards. It's a, a bit a bit like the same with this cheese. You you're eating it and it tastes kind of creamy, kind of mild, and then you get this kick, this bluey uh, kind of kick uh, afterwards. Very salty, very pungent. It's a bit like a, a brie on steroids, to be honest. It's very good. Very different flavour from a, a, a camembert. It's a lot more intense than that. Uh, but again, it hasn't got that camembert kind of smell to it.
it's like a it's like a brie it's like a, a brie in texture that's with this real pungent pungent aftertaste it's, it's very very good I think I'm gonna give this an 18 out of 20 for the taste it's quite unique now this cheese I did a bit of googling on it on the Eurostar on the way home it's a uh, it's a cheese originally from the, the made from the sixth century uh, in Normandy, and it's had the uh, appellation d'origine protégé uh, since uh, nineteen sixty nine. It says on the box here, so it's it's uh, a well established cheese. I've never seen it in the UK, uh, but uh, it, it, I imagine it's pretty common in France if you can buy it just at the local supermarket. Now the texture, I really like the texture. The rind, uh, obviously, it's got a rind to it that you can eat. It's quite a hard rind, but the cheese inside is is really quite soft. I've had this in my bag, obviously, coming home, so it's got up to to room temperature. It's not oozing like a a, a brie. Uh, it's well, it is starting to ooze out out the side, uh, but it's a lovely, lovely, soft, creamy cheese that's full of flavour. Uh, I think I'll give that a 19 out of 20 actually, it's, uh, it's a pretty good cheese. So overall, I, I think it's great, I think if you have the opportunity to buy this cheese, it wasn't expensive either, uh, I, I love the box, I love the, the, the packaging, I love the heart shape uh, flavour of it, I like the look of it, the texture's superb, it's really pungent, but not unpleasant. Uh, I think overall I would I would give this cheese an, an 18 out of 20. So uh, my spreadsheet here is telling me that's a, a total score when you add up the five categories, which is uh, 90 out of 100. So that's what we're going to score this, this uh, Neuve Chatel cheese at. Okay, thanks very much for viewing.